Hello, good morning, and happy Easter. Hooray! I hope you got an Easter basket this morning. <laughs> Um, my mom actually gave me an Easter basket last Sunday, which she totally did not need to do, but she did anyways. Um, so maybe I'll insert a clip of that here. Um, I do have the candy here with me, of course, after my mom gave it to me in a basket. I put it in a Ziploc bag and brought it with me back to Santa Barbara. So um, I'll show you what I've got here. Um, it's all from C's. So she got me, what is this, a medium rabbit? Anyways, it's the rabbit, and it's hollow, and it's milk chocolate. And I have this thing where every year I take the ribbon off and save it and then tie it around my Easter basket. So <laughs> I have a bunch of ribbons around my Easter basket. And then she gave me two of these um, eggs that I swear are hollow. I feel that I brought one into work and it was hollow. And this one sounds hollow too, which is really weird. Because these are supposed to be the surprise eggs where um, it's like milk chocolate on the outside. And in the inside there's a white chocolate chick. Um, I remember when I took my first one into work, I did not find the chick. And I started to think, wait, did I eat that already? Or was it not there? I couldn't remember because I was sitting at my desk working. And sometimes I forget. Or I'm not paying attention to what I'm eating. I'm just like working and kind of chowing down on something. So this one... Definitely doesn't sound like it has the white little egg inside. And then my mom also got me two Scotchmallow Easter eggs, which I've already eaten. <laughs> and then in here, some um, Seas jelly beans and then the milk chocolate eggs. So that's what I got from my mom for Easter, which was very sweet of her. And I sent her a card, which arrived just yesterday on Saturday. And then I sent a card to my niece, Mackenzie. That's it. So, um, yeah, it's kind of strange. Normally, um... We celebrate Easter together at my mom's house, but this year I decided, well, I could either go home last weekend when it was a three-day weekend, excuse me, or this weekend. I didn't want to go home both weekends, so um, I just decided to go home last weekend. Um, plus, my niece isn't there anymore, so if my niece were there, I'd definitely come back for Easter. Um, last year we had a good time, and my niece Mackenzie had her first Easter egg hunt. You know, she was two last year, now she's three. And we all got her Easter baskets, which is funny because she got so many Easter baskets. She got one from her parents, one from me, one from my mom, and one from Chris's parents. Last year, Mackenzie got a whole bunch of Easter baskets and treats and, you know, things to play with. So she got a lot. This year, she's having an Easter egg hunt at, I think, a friend of my sister's house, someone who she knows. And then she's having a hunt at her own house. Um, yeah, so it's different this year. Definitely. Um, my battery is running low on this camera. This morning, I'm planning to go to Reynaud's, which is a fantastic French place that makes um, really great croissants as well as meals. But mostly, I just go to get like the croissants and cookies and snacks and those kind of things. And then I was thinking about visiting Tony at assisted living because he's still there and apparently the people there don't want to release him to his apartment I think because of his memory issues so I was thinking about bringing him his mail after I go to Raynaud's so that's my plan for today there well I just arrived I am going to go to Raynaud's and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong I'm sure it's wrong the way I say it anyways um this Raynaud's location is unique because there's the original Raynaud's over there between Harry's and some, I don't know what's to the side. But anyways, there's the original Raynaud's. And over here is Gelson's Market. So they have um, a shop in the Gelson's Market, so like right next to the other one. And I usually go to the Gelson's because um, the line is shorter. When you go to the other Raynaud's, they serve like lunch and breakfast and all kinds of meals there. So you end up waiting in line behind a, a bunch of older folks who take a long time to make up their mind. So it's quicker for me to just go into the Galsons, get the little desserts or treats to go that I want, and then run out. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, go into the Galsons, but they have a very big selection. They have stuff that's not at the other Raynaud. So there's a different Raynaud on State Street nearby the Arlington. So we've got three different places we could go to here in town. Oh, there's Galsons. Let's see what they have. Sort of like a stolen, you know what that is? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, so 
Look at how he makes bunnies, too. So there's the Renaud logo. And these are still Reynaud's items all along here. So he has a whole bunch at this location. Let's see, these little meringues. I believe these are all meringues. T tools, which are kind of like a cookie. And these are cute, gingerman. Some pretty boxes. Marzipan lion. More little cookie guys. Rugalash, never heard of that. There's some pretty cakes up there. The French macarons are on the top shelf right here, and the definite chocolate cake is this one. So all these are good. Wow, this one looks good. Apricot tart. Here, almond tart, apple tart, plum tart. Coconut, a oh, this is what my friend bought me um, for my birthday one year. I think it was that size one. Plum tart, look good. Mm -hmm. And here are the croissants over here. We've got the cookies. Peanut butter is really good. Muffins. Plain croissant. Chocolate croissant. I'm getting one of you. Almond croissant. Oh, hot craft buns. Those must be for Easter. Cinnamon hazelnut rolls. On and off raisin. I really like those. Apricot croissant. And Golden raisin scone. I just bought some items at the Reynolds, and I'm going to go visit Tony next, but I wanted to show you really quickly um, what I bought there. Um, gosh, they have so much stuff, and they had a really good selection for what time it is. It's like 10.30, and I was thinking they're not going to have any of the good croissants, but they had plenty of the almond ones, which are definitely their most popular item, the almond croissants. Um, hopefully the footage picked it up, but it's very, it's like a big croissant, well, they decreased the size of it, so it's smaller now. But it's this croissant. It has tons of almonds on it and this glaze. It's really good. But personally, it's not my favorite. So let's see what I got. We have that little ring out sticker on there. Um, in here, I have two chocolate croissants. This one, the top looks a little funny. But um, I bought one for me and one to give to Tony, my pal, when I go visit him at the assisted living. And then this is the apricot tart. Move you aside. And this is the raisin one, which is like one of my favorites. So this is a really good box. Lots of goodies in there. Um, I've never had like, well, I've never been to France, but everyone says that this is very authentic. <laughs> and then in here I have the chocolate chip cookie, um, which they just make my favorite chocolate chip cookie. It's usually really soft in the center, crispy on the outside, and it's great with a glass of milk. And then she gave me a cute little box separately for my fancy pants slice of the apple tart, which I've never had before. Um, it looks pretty good. It has the same stuff on top of it as the apricot um, thing over there, meaning these little soft, squishy things. So, <laughs> that's what I got. Hi, my name is Tony. <laughs> so, let's get now. <laughs> well, let's come on into your room, and then I'll give you your mail. We'll avoid the roommate. And um, so I've got your mail, and then I've got a little treat for you. A little chocolate croissant. Uh -huh. A little snack of roux we won't tell anyone about. Just for you. You know what? Uh, huh. I have, to, I have to go to court tomorrow. You have to go to court? Yeah. What are you talking about? What for? Well, see, when I came in here, uh -huh. they, they didn't tell me nothing. Uh huh. Anything, rules, nothing. Uh huh. And then they told me they, that I couldn't leave. That you couldn't leave. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. So that did not go well. Things are not going well for Tony at all. Not going well. That was really upsetting. God, I kind of don't like it here. Um, there we go. That's the area he's in. The transit.
transitional rehab. It's just, oh God, it, it, he's got a lot of memory issues. They don't have a diagnosis yet, but um, definite memory issues. So they don't want to release him. They didn't know what his living situation was before getting there. So the woman was shocked when I told her, well, he had some studio. He lived right next to me. <laughs> okay, let me turn the air on and I can tell you more. So, yeah, so I got there and Tony was in his wheelchair and just, he keeps saying he wants to leave, but they're telling him he can leave, but they don't recommend it because they want him to have someone um, stay with him and take care of him to give him his meds and check his blood stuff for diabetes because apparently he isn't taking his medicine there and he isn't taking care of his diabetes and they said he keeps trying to flush stuff down the toilet which I don't know if he used to do that at the old apartment I have no knowledge of that so yeah they said he definitely needs help around the clock and they need to figure things out with his insurance so a social worker will hopefully look into that tomorrow and see if he if they will pay for someone around the clock to take care of him so that's the latest update and um it just you, you can't get too much info talking to tony specifically because he has a bad memory and well you know i don't know if it's dementia or alzheimer's but he just isn't able to recall much information so it's sad to see it and it's sad that he doesn't have family here to help out or take care and sometimes it makes me kind of angry I wish he had someone to help because I feel like I'm the only person that calls and visits him I'm pretty sure I am um, I don't know and it's just sad seeing the older people the guy that he shares a room with kept asking me to give him water and I've never taken care of an elderly person so just going up to this guy who couldn't really move in his bed and giving him water, you know, he had a little straw with the water cup. It's just, it's sad and upsetting and I'm not used to it. I'm not used to seeing elderly people or really, really sick people and I just, I'm not used to it. It makes me sad. And Tony was really upset. He cried. He cried a few times after I told him what was going on, which is that they don't want to release you yet until you have someone to help take care of you. He just cried because he wants to go to Texas to see the family that he has there and now he's afraid he won't be able to go there. But I just, I mean, what do you do? I kept telling him, take it one day at a time. We'll figure things out. Tomorrow I'll call him. We'll see what the health insurance says, if he can go back into his apartment and have assist someone taking care of him there each day. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to make it all better for him. Um, hey there. It is almost 5 o'clock. Time to start on some dinner or eat some croissants. <laughs> um, yeah, I still have Tony's situation on my mind. I don't have phone numbers for any of his family. I looked for phone numbers on his cell phone the first time I visited him at the assisted living and the names and numbers were all incomplete on his phone so I'm not sure what I can do but it reminds me of how I wanted to become a social worker in college and then realized later I don't think I want to do it because I would get too attached and too upset and frustrated <laughs> um, anyways this afternoon I just cleaned my apartment did a load of laundry and then um, took a nap <laughs> Yeah, that's what I've been up to, and I think I'm going to try to FaceTime with my niece. I want to talk to her about her Easter and see how her all of her Easter eggs hunt, all of her Easter egg hunts went. And um, she got a basket, too, um, from her parents, so I just want to go chit-chat with her. I think that'll be good. It always cheers me up to talk to Girl, her. I can't see. You need to move the phone so I can see you better, Kenzie. <gasps> What are you wearing? Another Easter dress. Another Easter dress. Do you have two Easter dresses, Mackenzie? Yeah. You do? Well, you're wearing the one that Grammy made for you earlier, the one with the ducks on it. Yeah. And whose dress is this? Did this used to belong to Aunt Manda? No. Mama. I don't know if it belonged to Mama. I don't know. It looks like one I used to wear, Allison. I'm not so sure about <laughs> What did you do there? Bring all of the eggs. Yeah. I brought, I got some chocolate, too. Oh, you got some chocolate, too? How many eggs did you get? Like 31? Oh, my God. <laughs> That's
that's a lot of eggs, Mackenzie. And I got chocolate. You got chocolate. Did it taste good? No. No? You love chocolate. What are you talking about, honey? Yeah, I'm like, do you want to be the chocolate? She's like, oh, no. I'm like, okay. Hey there. Um, I just ate my dinner. I had some leftover chicken from last night, the baked chicken with the barbecue sauce. It was okay, but it was quick and easy, so, um... That's it. Yeah, I think I'm going to just spend the rest of the evening inside. I watched some NCIS from last week. And, um, yeah, that's it. I can't believe tomorrow is Friday. I have to go back to work. <laughs> the weekend just flew by super fast. So, yeah, that's all for me today. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you had a wonderful Easter. Good night.